I'm going to start this video off with a quote from Shell Marmot. People need to understand that when choosing between breastfeeding and formula, they are not choosing between Coke and Pepsi. They're choosing between a live, pure substance and a dead substance made from the cheapest oils available. Hello everyone, so my name is Carmen and I'm going to be doing a video on why you should be breastfeeding. All the information in my video is reliable. This has been extremely well researched. It took me hours and hours to get this all researched so I could make this for you guys. The reliable resources that I will be using will be the World Health Organization, the Canadian Pediatric Society, the American Association of Pediatrics, and the Public Health Association of Canada. Alright, so I'm going to start off by saying that the Canadian Pediatric Society changed the recommended length for exclusive breastfeeding from 4 months to 6 months in 2004. Uh, this was following the recommendation when the World Health Organization recommended that the exclusive length of breastfeeding be changed to six months in 2001. Canada was just three, months, three years behind in getting themselves aligned with the World Health Organization recommendations. All right, the World Health Organization strongly recommends exclusively breastfeeding for the first six months of life. Um, at six months, other foods can complement breastfeeding for up to two years or more. Breast milk is the ideal food for newborns and infants. It gives infants all the nutrition they need for a healthy development. It is safe and it contains antibodies that will help your infant fight off infections and common childhood illnesses such as diarrhea and pneumonia, which are two of the primary causes of infant mortality worldwide. Beyond the immediate effect or benefits for children, Breastfeeding continues for us to a lifetime of good health. According to the World Health Organization, adults who were breastfed as babies often have lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, as well as lower rates of being overweight, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. There's strong evidence that people who were breastfed as babies will perform better on intelligence tests. Infant formula does not contain antibodies found in breast milk. Parents may accidentally also be causing their child to be malnourished by over diluting the formula in order to stretch out the supply. Also, frequent feedings maintains your breast milk supply. If you use formula, you can't switch back to breast milk if you can no longer afford formula. The American Association of Pediatrics has three main reasons as to why they promote breastfeeding. Number one, breastfeeding promotes warmth, warmth and closeness. The physical contact from breastfeeding creates a special bond between you and your baby. Number two, human milk is designed for human babies. It is easier to digest, it doesn't need to be prepared, it is always available. It has all the nutrients, calories, and fluids that your baby needs to have a healthy development. It contains growth factors that ensure the best development for your little tiny baby's organs. It has many substances that formula does not have that protect your baby from diseases and infections. In fact, Breastfed babies are less likely to have ear infections, diarrhea, pneumonia, wheezing, bronchiolitis, and other bacterial and viral infections such as meningitis. Research also suggests that breastfeeding may also protect against obesity, diabetes, sudden infant death syndrome, and some cancers. Number three is that breastfeeding is good for your health. It's good for your health because it helps release hormones that promote the mothering behaviors. It helps return your uterus back to its pre-pregnancy shape faster than if you weren't breastfeeding. It also help, burns calories, which will help you return back to your pre-pregnancy weight faster than if you weren't breastfeeding. It delays the onset of your menstrual cycle in order to keep iron in your body. Because it delays the onset of your period returning, it provides contraception, but only if three criteria are met. 
These criteria are one, that you are exclusively breastfeeding and not supplementing with anything else. Two, it is only effective within the first six months after birth. Three, your period has not yet returned. Remember, this is not a recommended form of birth control. And though it is effective, it is not foolproof and it is not 100% effective. So do not rely on it as your solely, your only form of birth control. Breastfeeding will reduce your risk of getting ovarian and breast cancer. It also keeps your bones strong, which will prevent you from getting fractures in your bones as you get older. So in conclusion, breastfeeding offers your baby more than just good nutrition. It also provides important substances to fight infections. Breastfeeding has been proven medically and, and psychologically to have benefits for both you and your baby. For many mothers, breastfeeding goes smoothly right from the start, but for others it takes time and persistence in order to get breastfeeding down pat. So please don't give up because it really is truly the best thing for your baby. The benefits of breastfeeding exclusively are absolutely undeniable and the best option for you and your baby. I would like to leave you with a quote from Grant Dick Reed. A newborn only has three demands. To feel the warmth from its mother's arms, to taste the food from its mother's breasts, and to have the security and the knowledge of knowing its mother is present. And breastfeeding satisfies all three of these. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my videos if you would like to see more.